Are you recording this? When did you start recording? Did you get the burp? No. no. <laughs> My phone wouldn't load. <sighs> Do it again. Do no, it I again. I feel good after that. That was disgusting. <laughs> Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently November 5th, 2018, around 11 o'clock. This week is my reading week for university, so I don't have to go up to Toronto, so super duper pumped about that. I have a lot of schoolwork I need to do. November is my last month of university, so I'm super excited. I actually have two papers due next week. One is on Stockholm Syndrome, and then the other one, I honestly haven't even looked at it, don't even have any idea what I'm supposed to be writing about. All I know is that it has something to do with social cognition and personality. What I'm going to choose to write about, we don't know. We'll figure it out later. I'm kind of like a huge ball of anxious energy right now because my mom is currently in surgery for her shoulder. She tore her rotator cuff and she's getting it repaired today. I just want her to come home. Her appointment was at 8. It's now 11. My dad just went to pick her up, so she's gonna be home soon. She's probably not gonna be in the vlog a lot this week because she's recovering. I don't want to bug her. I mean, maybe she'll be up to it, but I mean, usually my vlogs are a lot of me and my mom in a car talking and being little shits, but she can't drive for two weeks. And I mean, I can't drive and vlog at the same time. So probably not a lot of Mama J in this vlog, but hey, you get me if that's a consolation prize i don't know i guess i should probably update you guys on what i'm reading this week i started not even bones by rebecca schaefer this week so far it's pretty good i'm like 130 pages in it's been marketed as this savage song meets dexter which are two of my favorite things so far like i see resemblances all right i'm enjoying it but i don't know how much reading i'm gonna get done today because mom comes home soon and I'm probably just gonna be chilling with her, hopefully. And then I usually have my audiobook going on. So the audiobook for this week is Don't You Cry by Mary Kubica. I love Mary Kubica. I usually give her books like a 3.5 or up. So I'm digging this so far. I'm 107 pages in so far and I'm really enjoying it. I love the narrators. It's a boy and a girl because it's dual perspectives between a girl named Quinn and a boy named Alex. It follows a girl named Quinn whose roommate Esther has gone missing and it also follows follows a boy named Alex who works at a coffee shop and a stranger comes in and basically Quinn trying to find Esther and Alex trying to figure out who this stranger is and I'm assuming that the stranger is Esther but I don't know yet. I'm only 100 pages in. It's like 400 pages or something like that so I'm digging it so far so hopefully we keep digging it as it progresses but I guess we'll see. Mommy's alive. Say hello. Mommy, so are you vlogging again? Yes. Mommy's alive. Jay cried all yesterday when mommy came home. How you feeling? I'm sore. She's drugged up. She has to wear a sling for two weeks. That fits a toddler. <laughs> it's the smallest sling ever. Back to the mother update, we were interrupted by Ricardo bringing her flowers, which are over there. Look how colorful they are. What can you tell us about your glorious day so far? Me? Yes. <laughs> Let's see, I slept on the couch last night, woke up every two or three hours, was nearly drowned by my daughter. She tried to wash my hair. I, I did we, a good job. Uh, you did, as we called it reverse waterboarding. It was a good time. Put my earrings back in. That was gross. What I don't it? like that. I know, it, just, it's, it feels weird. It's a weird feeling, isn't it? I, I um, have been writing a paper on Stockholm Syndrome for the past like three hours and have three pages out of 10. So it's going great. And then I have to drive Curtis to work because mom can't drive. And then I'm gonna come home and sit back here and probably do more paper. Do more paper. Yeah. <sighs> open birthday present, go. I'm open it. Love it. Why do you have so much paper? Because it was the one that mom used for my birthday. <laughs> I figured now you have one designated cup for your room. It's that one. <laughs> That's all you're allowed to use. That's ooh. I couldn't find Reaper or- I already have Reaper. Okay, good. So good. It's now Wednesday. I basically spent the entire day yesterday and this morning until 2.17 p.m. writing my Stockholm Syndrome paper. I'm nine pages in. I'm supposed to have eight to ten pages. So 
We're going with nine. I'm done. I don't care. It's finished. I refuse to do any more work on it, but I figured before I go to work, I will update you guys on my reading since, you know, reading vlog should probably have an update on what I've been reading. I am 280 pages into Don't You Cry and it is so stinking good. I don't really know what's going on. I was able to call like that the stranger that Alex sees is Esther, but then there's like this huge twist. I don't want to tell you what the twist is, but I'm very confused whether it is true or not. I, I just, I'm being so vague because spoilers. And then I'm also 205 pages into Not Even Bones, which it's getting very interesting. And it's kind of funny because it has like Stockholm Syndrome vibes. And I just spent the entire two days writing my Stockholm Syndrome paper. So I'm like, mm, similarities, how convenient and ironic. Is that the right word? We don't know. I'm probably not going to get a lot of reading of this one done for the rest of the day because I'm going to work but I'll be listening to my audiobook while I set up rooms for rentals and stuff. So I might finish uh, Don't You Cry but probably not. I feel like I'll probably get to like 300 and something pages by the end of the night but I'll update you guys tomorrow because I'm probably going to be going to Ricardo's after work. It's now Thursday. I just finished Don't You Cry by Mary Kubica and it was so good. I think I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 stars. It's not really a 4.5 for me, but it was still really good. I was kind of able to call what happened. I figured it out in the end. I was wrong in the beginning, and then I figured it out, and then it all just like unraveled, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it if you're into thrillers. It was it was a good mind fuck, but it wasn't like a spectacular mind fuck, if that makes sense. <laughs> you can't even pick it up properly. <laughs> Oh, so attractive. I love it. It's just, oh, get me every time, baby. <laughs> the seductive look. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't very good, but. It only comes out in little bits. Yeah, you tried. A prepper. So cute, though. <laughs> Ricardo's a monster and bites his pops. Who does that? I always do. That's weird. Okay, bear with me. I know this is like a super weird angle, but I need both my hands because I got a package from one of my subscribers. They messaged me on Twitter and they asked if they could send me a package for my birthday because my birthday was on October 29th and they asked me if I could send them like three of my most wanted to read books. So I sent them three and they said that they were going to send me one of them. So the package has finally arrived. Oh, okay, so she sent a little card. It says, happy birthday, Jay. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, she wrote like a whole note. I'm not gonna read it out to you guys because I don't know what it says. So I'll read it later. Oh, she sent a little bookmark. It's so cute. <laughs> I freaking love Disney, so this is like my new favorite thing ever right now. Oh my god. Oh my heart. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> I'm so happy. And she also sent me Sadie by Courtney Summers, which I have heard such incredible things about. And apparently the audiobook is like crazy good. So I'm definitely going to be listening to the audiobook while reading it at the same time. Thank you so so much Krista like that was so sweet and you definitely did not have to do that but I really appreciate it you are the sweetest hi mommy you left the house how do you feel I um I don't know if I should have left the house <laughs> <laughs> I'm being brave and and going over all those potholes really hurt my <laughs> arm is really sore right now are we taking more pills when we get home oh uh, yeah mom yeah. the drug addict <laughs> A memoir. <laughs> <laughs> it's now Friday and I just finished another book. I finished Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer. I think I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was really enjoyable, but I don't think it was anything like incredible. I had super high expectations for it, not going to lie, because of the Dexter and the Savage song like smashed together that it was marketed as. I liked the concept of it and it was really intriguing. It leaves you off on like a huge cliffhanger so I am interested to see the sequel because I think it's a trilogy but I'm not 100% sure. I mean the book literally came out in September so the next book isn't going to be for a while but I'm still 
interested. I started another audiobook last night while I was waiting to pick up my brother from work. So I started Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. And can we just take in how cute the bookmark that Krista got me in a book is? Oh my god, he's like a little Winnie the Pooh. Anyways, this is the spin-off series to the Vampire Academy, which I absolutely freaking loved. And I'm about 200 pages out of like 400 of Bloodlines right now. And honestly, I don't like it that much. Like, it's entertaining, but it's, like, super problematic. So far, there's been a lot of, like, lines that I'm just sitting there, like, oh, God, no. Like, they said that Sydney is a size 4, and that means that she's fat and big and frumpy. And I'm just sitting here, like, I'm a size 10. So... <laughs> great awesome I must be ginormous which like I'm not so like people who are sensitive to their weight and stuff pff, I feel like this book would just not sit well with them and I just feel like teenage girls reading this is not a good idea there's a 15 and a 19 year old dating and it's just weird I don't care if they're vampires or not it's still weird okay if you are 19 years old you have nothing in common with a 15 year old I'm sorry you don't it's just it's a fact and you shouldn't be dating them. That and then uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, those two things are a little bit iffy with me right now. Maybe the story will improve. I guess we'll see if I finish it or not. But so far, hey, <sighs> Beeps. He brought me food and Starbucks because he's a good boy. I told her, iced coffee and nuggets. Yeah, I thought I was getting nuggets, but pad thai is better. How do you feel about not being spoiled? <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> Why are you like that? There's something wrong with you. <laughs> it's now Saturday at 2. Ricardo came over and brought me food and coffee because he's a little angel baby unicorn. But I've been reading since he left. And I finished Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. And I think I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars. I kind of hated it. But it was still really entertaining. So I feel like three is average. I feel like it was very problematic and there was a lot of lines that I hated completely. But I just love Adrian so much and he's so sassy. I also started a book last night when I finished Not Even Bones. So I started Follow Me and this is by Angela Clark. It's a library book because if you guys watched my five star predictions video back in like March I had a book called Watch Me by Angela Clark and I didn't realize that it was the second book in a series so I had to go to the library and get the first book which finally came in so that I can read the second book for that series so I can finally do my results because it is the last one that I have to read so we're reading that we're like a hundred pages in so far and it's pretty entertaining. It's kind of annoying because it has a lot of like British dialogue and like slang in it. So I'm kind of sitting there like, what does this even mean? But we're getting through it slowly. It's about a woman named Freddie who is a journalist and then she teams up with her old friend who is a police investigator, but they did something eight years ago that like made them not friends anymore, but we don't know what that is yet. And then there was a murder and then Freddy sneaks on to the crime scene and basically like infiltrates it. And then she gets hired as the social media expert for this crime because it was like taking place on Twitter or something. It is very confusing. The series is called like the social media murder or something like that, but it's basically all surrounding Twitter. So it's kind of annoying at the same time because they're making everybody seem really dumb and not understanding Twitter. And I'm like, Twitter is not that hard. So it's kind of annoying, but so far, I mean, I wanna know what happens next. So that's good for a mystery novel. I have to go film a thriller Macmillan unboxing video because I sent me a whole bunch of thriller arcs so we gonna go do that and then we're probably gonna read follow me after that's done. It's Sunday now and I'm just waiting to go to work but I figured I would update you guys before I left. I finished follow me by Angela Clark and I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I honestly throughout the whole thing could not tell if I liked it or hated it. It really bothered me how dumb 
they made like literally everybody in this book. They made it so that like people didn't even know how to Google things and I'm like, mm, literally everybody can use Google, like a baby can use Google. Like, mm, eh. And it was super predictable. I was able to call who the murderer was pretty early on and I ended up being right so I was like, mm. so yeah, 2.5. I'm kind of bummed because I have to read the second book in the series for the five star prediction video and I really don't want to so hopefully it's better I don't know we'll see like I said I'm going to work so I'm going to start Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter because it's the shortest book on my TBR so I was like hmm, maybe I can finish it I have to write a paper while I'm at work on intergenerational transmission which is basically like the way you're parented you'll parent that way too so I have to write a whole paper on that and I also have a lot of readings to do for school because I haven't been doing them. We end in the vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know if there will be one next week. We'll see how I'm feeling. But catch you later. Goodbye.